Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Both defenses will have to be on the watch for a pair of tight ends looking to find seams in the secondary. It's the Broncos going up against the Chargers. Now we'll go down to Sports Authority Field at Mile High for this matchup. It's the NFL on EA Sports. Kickoff looming in this AFC West matchup as we join you from Sports Authority Field at Mile High. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims getting set for kickoff and a big primetime game headed your way. The lights are on. The excitement's building, Bill. Yeah, Jim, it's it's great environment when you talk about night games, and the players love it. They love being on the stage, showing everybody what they can do, and this is going to be fun to watch. The Broncos are back deep, waiting for the kick return. And Nick Novak is ready to get this one started. going to test the coverage this time. And the tackle's made. The offense will start their drive from about the 31. Coming off a record-shattering year, breaking virtually every mark that had ever been posted in a single season, quarterback Peyton Manning. What a year Peyton Manning had for the Denver Broncos in 2013. Led up to the Super Bowl. Record numbers for the offense. Record numbers for him. It's just amazing what he does year in and year out. The Broncos at the line of scrimmage with their set of receivers in a bunch formation. First down at the 31. Throws to the right. Makes the grab and the feet are down. A lot of teams will play this 3D defense, cover three, because they want to make the quarterback throw the football towards the sidelines and down the field to get those completions. Good job by the QB that time. The Broncos come out in a two tight end set. Manning's going back to the air on this play. Thomas brought down, but not until he gives his team a new set of downs. Quarterback's best friend. Throw a short pass and see it turn into big yards. What a job that time by the pass receiver catches the short pass and picks up big yards afterwards nice job catches the ball on the sideline but does not get both feet down here's a look at the offense and this core group of wide receivers must find a way to get open today Second down after the incompletion. Manning's lining up in the pistol. He'll throw it over the middle. And this pass goes incomplete as he was looking short that time. Setting the defense today, a former first-round pick out of Illinois is Corey Legion. Yeah, he's so nimble for a big guy. You look at that body, uh, and it is big. He is talented, but what a pair of feet. He can run you over or go around you. Following that incompletion, it sets up third and ten. Manning comes out in the pistol. The defense gets the sack. Well, the defense has got to be excited any time on third down they make the play. Uh, they get pretty fired up. But when you sack a quarterback on third down, that is one happy and emotional defense right now. All set to punt here. San Diego 
is Phillip Rivers, coming off a sensational season, completing almost 70% of his passes and taking the Chargers to the postseason. There's no doubt when you talk about the San Diego Chargers, their leader and the guy they're going to build this football team around is their quarterback, Phillip Rivers, and he's got to be outstanding, tough, and not turn the football over. Rivers out of the gun. He'll fire it out to the left. Secures it with two hands. Gains 11. Good job by the quarterback completing that pass against the zone defense. Look for the open space when you throw against zones. That's what he did, and he got the nice completion. Phillip Rivers and Peyton Manning. Back in the old days when Peyton was in Indianapolis, they had some important postseason matchups. Now they see each other twice a year out in the AFC West. Oh, boy. Uh, what's Phillip Rivers think about that now? It's one thing to play Peyton Manning once every three years, maybe, but now you got to play him twice a year. You know it's going to be tough to win your division when Peyton Manning is in it. But Phillip Rivers, a veteran, really got a lot of personality, a leader, and uh, I think you can say all those things and many, many more when you talk about Peyton Manning. Yep, you look at these two quarterbacks. These are players who really know how to lead their teammates. Yeah, it's such a... Uh, I think it's not talked about enough, Jim, when you talk about leadership. What is it? That means setting a good example for all the players around you and not being afraid to tell somebody they need to do their job a little better or differently to help your football team. Both of these guys will do that. One other thing, Phil. Mike McCoy, now the head coach of the Chargers, a year ago was the offensive coordinator for Peyton up in Denver. Yeah, he was. And, you know, I know everybody's going to think, well, Mike McCoy was the coordinator in Denver. How are we going to stop the Denver offense? Everybody knows the plays that Peyton Manning's going to run. They've known it for years. I know it, Jim. You know him. It doesn't matter. It's the execution and how he does it. It's still really tough to stop. But I think Mike McCoy is going to be a really good influence on Phillip Rivers and should improve his game. They're set to punt it away now. He's going to try and return this one. And picks up maybe three or four. Well, returning punts is a tough job. It's about judgment. That time, that was poor judgment by the return man. Should have just had a fair catch and never tried to return that. First down and 10. Manning with the give. The tackle is made at the 40-yard line. Second down here after that run play. from the shotgun. He's got the catch. Buffer's in on the tackle. What's the old expression? Just move the chains. That's what they did with that throw and catch that time, Tim. It also gives them a chance for three more downs. The Broncos will take the snap from the 45. And they'll end up losing four here. Side defense. Players from both sides making an Still appeal, but the officials saw it on the defense. The Broncos come to the line. Of course, plenty of pink on the field today and in the stands as all of October will be seeing this for Breast Cancer Awareness Month in the NFL. be whooping it up tomorrow when they watch this play in the field room. What a good job by them. Excellent planning and awesome execution. First and goal to go from the two. Takes it across and he's in for the touchdown. Well, just an awful job, wasn't it, by the defense? I mean, it's first and goal. Well, you know it's going to be a run, or I think you should be playing run. The defense not ready. They get overpowered, and they give up the running touchdown.
The Broncos with the PAT to come. Driving extra point is good. The Chargers ready to return the kick. Reading for the snap. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. The give, middle, and that's a gain of nine. Second down following the run. We'll switch sides and take a break as the first quarter comes to a close here in Denver, Colorado. The Chargers still possess the football as we begin the second quarter. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. Phillip Rivers has it under center. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. And he takes off. Tries to get the feet down, but this will be ruled incomplete. River is athletic enough to get out of the pocket. That's a really good job. him but you have to give the defense a lot of credit they shut down all the receivers the defense comes out of the nickel third and two and he's tackled down after picking up the first first down here after the run the defense comes out of the dime good throw and good catch right on the sideline well, when you talk about throwing these sideline routes or the out route, it is about timing. When that receiver makes that break to go towards the sideline, that football has to be in the air. Nice throw and catch that time. Rivers out of the gun. They're going to get him here for a sack. I don't know if they were confused or not, but the left side of the offensive line that time, they were not aggressive. They got pushed back, and they give up the sack of the quarterback. The Chargers from the 37. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Well, you're down, and here you are in the first half of the game. If it was fourth and short, I could see the coach trying to switch things around. And he, he might go for it, but we have fourth and long. Punt that football down there. Don't make a decision to put your team in a hole that they can't get out of. He's got a chance for a return. That'll stop the play right there. The Broncos ready now to start their next series. Take it here from the 35. Manning set in the pistol. The Broncos will take the snap from the 35. They'll mark him at the 40. Good job that time by the offense. Powell run gets him a few yards. Five yards. Manning's going to be in the pistol here. Second down and five. Welker's got it. First down. Well, when you keep chipping away with these short throws, sooner or later, that defense is going to come up. And when they come up, that's when you throw it over the top. First and ten. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. Cuts down the outside run for a loss. 
Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. The Broncos take it from the 43. Connects with Thomas. Brought down after a gain of six. Nice job by the quarterback. Nobody open down the field. He throws it short. It does not get a first down, but it sure makes third down a lot easier. Third down now. receivers and quarterbacks guessing you just can't come out there and play man-to-man -man every play and think that's going to work you got to mix in some zones some blitzes and then occasionally go man-to-man -man cover makes the catch in the open field he's in for the touchdown well you got a lead now you're able to go out there and drive down the field and score a touchdown this changes how the other team is going to manage the game from here on out count it certainly given his team some momentum with that scoring drive. He just put together a possession where he threw for more than 60 yards. And he's tackled right at the 30-yard line after that return. First down on the way. Royals, a receiver in the slot. Rivers is going to take it from the gun. Intercepted. In on the stop. Nice job with the defense at times. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. First down at the 35. Did not get both feet down. Failing to complete that one. So, second down here. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. No one in sight. Has the grab. The Broncos are leading in this one. And a lot of that goes back to the play of this quarterback, Phil. Manning's had a very solid opening half. He sure has, and then people are getting open down the field, Jim, and he's right on target. He's feeling it. He is absolutely in the groove. So what a welcome. What a catch. Touchdown. If you go to an NFL practice, they spend about 40% of their time practicing plays going in to score, and that's why they made it look so easy here. Nice throw by the quarterback on first and goal. The Broncos have their defense to thank for those points. That interception setting up the score that the offense was able to finish off. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. The Chargers ready now to start their next series. Take it here from the 22. Nickel formation here for the defense. First and ten. Throws the pass. And looking underneath, this will go incomplete. That's second down coming up. Two tight ends on the field here. Rivers connects with Antonio Gates. Taken down at the 27. The Chargers signal for a timeout. They have two remaining. Offense ready for action coming out of their timeout. Third and five still to go, even after that last completion. Wide receivers are bunched up. the Rivers from the shotgun. Looking long. And it's out of bounds incomplete. They bring back out the offense to go for it. 
Wide receivers stacked up on this play. The charges from the 27. Ooh, they fail to pick up the first, and the ball will go back to the other side. This is what they call managing the game. The head coach decides to go for it on fourth down, and you just got to expect either way that you're going to make it, or if you don't make it, what are you going to do? First down at the 27. Manning complete as he finds Welker on that throw. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. Nickel formation for the defense here. First and goal from the 10. And he's forced to the ground. The Broncos call the timeout. Their first. This will be second down. Welker's going to get set in the slot for the snap. Manning's got it in the gun. And they'll get to him again for the sack. Timeout called by the defensive unit. So they get to the quarterback on that last play. Third down coming up. Manning's setting up now in the pistol. The hit knocks the ball out incomplete. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. And converts on the three. Well, that time the offense had great field position. They don't take advantage of it, but at least they get three points. Good job by the kicker coming in and getting some points on the board. Royals going to test the coverage here. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. So that's going to do it for the first half. Broncos are up in this one.